So before I start, I want to say the Liberal is going to support the budget presented by the Conservative. So the coalition between the NDP and the Liberals is officially dead. Um, the budget is an improvement, I think, because at least it attempts to give money to infrastructure and um, funding for all type of social housing and stuff like that. But people are worried that if the, act, the money would actually do flow to the municipality because there needs to be a matching fund between the provinces and the federal government and there's not enough money there. So we will see if the money actually does flow to the city. What I don't like about the budget is that it does nothing for the unemployed. You know, the people who are on unemployment insurance, they will get five more weeks of unemployment insurance payment. But people who are not eligible, which a lot of people are not eligible for un unemployment insurance, that means they will continue to not be eligible because the budget does nothing to those people. Not a surprise there. Stephen Harper doesn't seem to care about um, unemployed people. So disappointed about that. So I don't think there, is, will be, there will be an immediate improvement to those people who are suffering. I think if you're a poor person and you're looking for the federal government to help you, Harper is not the government that will help you. <laughs> so that's With the problem. With the way like the current economy is going, it's really hard to have hope. It's so easy to feel apathetic and hopeless about our situation. So what can I say? You know, if you're feeling apathetic about your situation, you either kill yourself or watch a lot of junk TV or you do something about it, like getting involved in your community. Someone once said that we are political animals and I believe that's true, political animals. You can't drop out of politics. A lot of people feel like, you know, politics is useless, you know, why get involved, nothing's going to change. Well, politics is like air, you know, it's invisible, but it's there. You cannot avoid it. That's like saying you're going to drop out of humanity. Part of the reason we're so cynical about politics is because we have been told that, you know, the smaller the government, the better, the more freedom that we have. And that's a neoliberal ideology, ideology that we have been assaulted with since Ronald Reagan. So, in order to really get people in power, we have to get involved and change the way we look at government and change the way we do our democracy. For example, 9% of the Green uh, Canadians voted for the Green Party and they got zero seats in the last federal election. So we have to have a more participatory democracy. Not just letting the expert, letting our representative do whatever they want. We have to be more proactive about how we want our changes to be seen in our society. And because we feel that the government is a necessary evil, when the conservative government, when Stephen Harper got it wrong about, you know, how we're not experiencing a recession in Canada, we don't really put the blame on him. We put the blame on the global economy. But when a socialistic government or a left-wing government, like the Ontario NDP with Bob Ray, not living up to all his promises during the 1990s, people blame it on the government. Oh, they're saying, Oh, you know, we can't trust left-wing government. They screw it up. But we ignore the many times that the liberals and the conservatives have screwed up during the recession because we don't. So instead of placing the blame on them, instead of thinking the government has a responsibility to provide for the citizen, we're saying, oh, whatever, we expect that, you know, it's the economy. What can we do?
what we can do is not simply relegating ourselves to self-preservation or thinking of ourselves and fearing other people. What we can do is to get involved in a community and organize and join groups and you know do whatever we can to improve our democracy and have a sense of community and that's what I like about you too because you're building a sense of community with other like-minded people and that's what I want to see in a general society as well and you know The moon is our new frontier. And the key you to the mountain top. Point the way to the promised land. Yes, we can for justice and equality. Yes, we can. 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 Y